what happened here is somebody probably thought they were going to do a little sanding and just take this um, glossy look on the headstock down to a more matte look. And they just did it right here in this one area and it looks like they just changed their mind. So if you want to try and take something like that back to glossy, what you can do is sand through a few grits of sandpaper with some very high grits. And a lot of times what I use is this set from, you can get it from Stu Mac. And it's basically these micro mesh sanders. We'll start maybe somewhere in the middle here. Uh, this looks like this is about 4,000 maybe. And um, the way I'm gonna do it is wet sand with a little WD-40. On camera, this doesn't look too bad. You can barely see it, but it is something in person where if you bought this guitar and you saw somebody had sanded on the a bit of the headstock, you wouldn't be too happy. So me being a guitar seller, I'm gonna try and rectify this as best I can. So you can see I've got the WD-40 there and I am not pressing hard here. I'm just doing some very light sanding um, and this is a very fine grit. And what you'd wanna do is right away just wipe away the WD-40 and see where you're getting. If it's too rough a grit, you'll probably see that you're just adding more scratches, but it looks pretty good here because what I've got now is sort of just a, um, a dull area and I've already gotten rid of a bunch of the scratches that were there. I believe it's 4,000 that I just started with. And now I'm going to the next color, 6,000 on these pads. And so if you dull it up and you've gotten rid of a lot of the scratches, you can just proceed to the next higher grit. You don't want to spend too much time on each one. You've only got so much clear coat to work with and you don't want to burn through it and you kind of got to look sideways in the light sometimes at this kind of stuff and try and only sand in the area where the sanding started uh, where the uh the damage was because you don't want to you know increase the area that you have to work on this is eight thousand And already I see that a lot of the scratches that they inflicted up here are gone. And again, you just need to keep kind of, if you're wet sanding like that, just wipe away the residue and see, see where you are. Because you can't really see when it's wet. Now see, I already see it starting to look pretty um, glossy again. It's still a little more dull in the surrounding area, but I think I think we'll get it back to matching the rest of the headstock here. Go up one more grit to the 12,000. And then after this, we'll use uh, one or two rubbing compounds as a final step. And that usually, um, the last step that'll kind of bring back that shine hopefully kind of make it all blend together with the surrounding areas looks like he had one stray sanding mark that went as far as sort of in between the fender and telecaster on the logo and i'm going very light here because i'm trying not to inflict new sanding marks you know 12,000 is so fine 
that you can get away with just doing a little light sanding even if it's not on a damaged area you shouldn't hurt it much just a little bit duller than the surrounding area but pretty darn close and now this is uh we got here mcguire's mirror glaze uh it's number nine and so on their scale it's kind of like what they call light cut that means this is not real coarse uh and it's not gonna like basically introduce new scratching. It should just kinda get rid of light scratching, which is what we have here. So that's bringing a lot of the shine back. I already see that, whether or not that's coming through on camera. So off camera there, took a real close look and I found I got rid of all the scratching except for one little spot right here by the tuner. So in that kind of a case, if you if you have to, you might have to go back to where you started or, or even perhaps a lower grit. What you're trying to do is get rid of that first um, layer of scratching that was made. And once you see you've dulled it, now I'm starting to dull it here. You should kind of see the scratching go away and just be left with kind of a dull haze hopefully so now I've gotten rid of most of that that was around that tuner that one little spot that I had sort of missed and now unfortunately because I went back to uh, 4000 I have to work my way back through the grits again kind of each time Each successive higher grit that you go to is basically removing some scratches that the former grit made, if that makes sense. So I started with 4,000, got rid of most of the scratching the person had made on here. And now as I go to 6,000, I'm getting rid of smaller scratches I made with the 4,000. Good. And now as I go to 8,000, I'm getting rid of scratching I just made with the 6,000. Hope that makes sense. Basically, each time you, you go up to a finer grit, you're just getting um, rid of larger scratches and going down to smaller ones until you get to the point where there's hardly any scratching left. And it's just kind of, uh, it should look kind of just like a dull haze. And that's when you can hopefully go to like a rubbing compound which really brings it all together and gets rid of any final scratches that are just like the super fine scratches and kind of make it blend together okay that's much better than it was now I think if I take my let's see what happens when I take a little bit of the Meguiar's here You know, if you keep in mind like Meguiar's rubbing compound or whatever rubbing compound you're using is, is basically like a grit of sandpaper, just a really, really high grit. Because uh, in that rubbing compound is basically uh, an abrasive. So as you rub it on like this, it's, it's being abrasive, like a sandpaper, just a really, really fine one. So it's like your, your last step in the process to get rid of the final, what you brought it down to, which is hopefully just some really fine scratches that it can get rid of. Yeah, much better than it was at least. Okay. And then you may even use more than one uh, rubbing compound. I'm gonna go from Meguiar's to uh, just a very mild guitar polish that I have called uh, Virtuoso Premium Cleaner. This is something you can use for really mild scratching on guitar finishes and it doesn't, uh, it won't hurt your finish. That's a Virtuoso Premium Cleaner. You can find that stuff on eBay or other places. It's not cheap. It's like 10 or 11 bucks a bottle at least, maybe even 15 now. But uh, that stuff works and it'll last for a while. See what it's like here now. Yeah, and if you compare that to the beginning of the video, pretty much got rid of almost all the scratching. 
I mean, yeah. So go through your grits. <laughs> My recommendation is to wet sand and uh, then finish up with the uh, rubbing compound, maybe one or two, you know, a heavier compound and then a lighter one as a final step. And uh, get rid of some of that scratching on a gloss finish like that. Yeah, there's still a little scratching there. <laughs> I want to be picky, but uh, it's pretty good.